So I'm really excited to speak to this next guest, Melissa Smith, and 2021 All-American, Wade Trophy winner, consensus All-Big 12 player, like all everything. <laughs> and yet for some reason, this is your apparel. Boom. Slept on. <laughs> I, I got you. Sure, you, she gave me one of these shirts a couple years ago. Tell me, why were you slept on? You're such a star. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I mean, I feel like every game I go out and just give everything I have. I feel like I have that heart, you know, just go out and produce for my team. But I mean, there's still a lot of people sleeping on me and still feel like I'm fighting to be at the top. They are still sleeping on you. I really do think that from a national perspective, averaging over 20 points, 11 rebounds. I mean, averaging this monster double-double. So what are your goals for the season? Like, what are you proud of that you're doing right now? Um, Right now, you know, a double-double. I came into this my senior year just thinking, like, I got to go harder. I got to go out with a bang. So, I mean, averaging 20-plus is always my goal. And then 11, 12 boards a game is always my goal also. Oh, good. So you're hitting that. Okay, so this is her, um, some of her clothing line slept on. I know you love fashion. Tell me some of the other fun pieces in your closet. Who else are you into? Designers or what kind of style do you like? Um, I wear a lot of, uh, let's see, I wear a lot of Nike, Jordan, you know, kind of basic stuff. Uh, streetwear, I wear a lot of like Supreme, Bait, stuff like that. I'm kind of into like that high fashion too. So like off-white, stuff like that. How'd you get into it? Um, I don't know. It's just, it catches your eye. So I like bright colors and stuff like that. So a lot of my shoes is like yellow, turquoise, you know, like bright colored shoes. So I like stuff like that. And, you know, the media, you know, <laughs> that's the good stuff right now. Yep. Okay. So one cute thing about you and your family, you, your parents are too cute, like just too adorable. Tell me about your parents. They seem like such a big driving force in your life. And they are. I mean, that's my why. Also, my brother, that's my why right there. Uh, we're a close-knit family. Everything we do, you know, we have a group message where we can't stop talking. And we talk all day, cracking jokes, sharing TikToks. Like, a lot of normal families don't do that. Like, just go to your phone and your mom sending you TikToks. Like, it's just we have a close relationship. I mean, those are people I go to for everything, uh, make all my decisions with. So, I mean, I love them. They're, they're a big part of my why. I know sometimes I see your posts and I'm just like, I just think I want to go to a family party. I, I, I need to be invited to one of these family parties. They look so fun. <laughs> Always invited. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so tell me about, you're, you're so skilled on the basketball court, but you have developed some new skills during the quarantine period and stay home, you're by yourself. Tell me what you picked up in quarantine that you're pretty dang good at. I started painting in quarantine. It was something just to kill time. I feel like it's real therapeutic. Like just throw some music on and just paint. So that's something I really enjoy doing. I'm starting small, but hopefully I can work my way up. What was your first medium? Like what did you choose to, to do creatively? Oil, watercolor, pencil paper? Like what was it? Watercolor for sure. Like water painting. Yeah. So you love color. I, I'm starting to see a theme here, you know, like whether it's pink sparkles on our shirts or your shoes or your fashion. So you, why do you think you're a colorful person or you're drawn to being colorful? I love being different. That's my main thing. Like if we could wear any shoe we want, I'll probably have on like some pink shoes or like some green shoes. I just like standing out and being different. I feel like that's a big part of basketball just showing who you are as a person. I feel like early in your career when you got to Baylor, you were quiet. I feel like you're starting to come out of that and find your voice a little bit. Tell, am I wrong or tell me how that's transpiring, your transformation is going? I feel like I kind of, I don't know, I've always been like an outgoing person. I feel like it's kind of more of like the media and other people are starting to see it. But like with my friends and stuff, I'm always like that, that funny outgoing person. So I'm glad y'all finally starting to see it though. I know, I love it. You're you're letting us see it more though, right? It's not. I love it. Okay, so tell me about your goals. Uh, I, I kind of like, I know we're in the college season, but I look forward to the WNBA draft with you too. That's gonna happen in a April 11th. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that yet, but I, I did. Um, tell me what your goals are for the WNBA. Of course, it's go number one. And then once I go number one, get rookie of the year, big goals. You know, I really believe you can do it. I, I hope you believe it. Yes, ma'am, I do. Thank you. 
any any other interesting thing about you that you're like, no, she didn't ask me about this. This is the most interesting thing about me. Nah, nothing. Nah, just little old me. <laughs> little old you. Well, you are doing so great. Um, please stop sleeping on Nalissa. She's the best. And I hope you know I've just been one of your biggest fans like your whole career. I think you do know that. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Love you, Holly. Love you. Bye. Are you proud of me that I still had my shirt? I'm always proud of you. I got to get you the new one. Uh, yeah. Send it to me. I'll, I'll see you. I'll Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.